Hi, I'm Shanoj Pansu. I'm an international research scholar from Bellore Institute of Technology, India. Currently doing a research project on low-cost brain-machine interface for controlling mechanical systems at Rochester Institute of Technology, New York, under the guidance of Professor Alexander Howard. I'm going to make a series of videos on how to complete the entire project. This is the first part of the series where I would be beginning with eye blink detection. So, this is the Open VCI Ultra Cortex Mark IV headset. This is an open source 3D printable headset and it will work with any Open VCI board. This headset is designed to receive EEG signals only. As we can see, there are EEG electrodes placed all over which are used to measure the signals. And these are the units that help us adjust the headset. Uh, and these are the reference electrodes. All of the sensors and the electrodes are connected to the Cyton board. The Cyton board is powered using the cells or the battery which can be attached to the headset itself. Now, coming back to the Cyton. The OpenVC Cyton board is an Arduino compatible 8th channel neural interface with a 32 bit processor. The Cyton board can be used to sample EEG, EMG, and ECG signals. The board communicates wirelessly to a computer via the OpenVC USB dongle using RFDNO radio modules. It can also communicate wirelessly to any mobile device or tablet with Bluetooth low energy. Okay, so now we take this dongle and put it into the USB port of our laptop. It's, we can see the lights glowing, it's on. We then take this headset uh, that has the side on board attached and we switch it on. Then we can go to the open VCI GUI. We press the system control panel, go to site on live, serial from dongle and press auto connect. This will start our session. Since we have only connected this electrode at the moment to the channel 2 on the site on board, we can simply switch off all the other channels simply by clicking on them. We can now place the headset on our head, adjust these as comfortable and connect the reference electrodes to our ears. And then we simply start the data stream. As we can see, the OpenBCI GUI already does some data pre-processing for us and also shows the filtered FFT plot on the right side. This makes it very easy for us to de detect the eye blinks which are represented by the peaks over here. And that's how you use the OpenBCI GUI. Our next step would be to go on to MATLAB to do the same. 